Hey everybody, my yard is looking a bit ragged and I need to cut it. But before I do that, I want to go in here and harvest up all this poor man's pepper and see if I can make something yummy out of it. All right, let's see what we can get into. I don't actually want to pull it up from the roots or anything. I've already pulled a few of them up because I mow it down and it'll grow back. So I don't want I don't want to destroy it. So I want to hack it off. Because the mower is going to do the same thing, but this time I get to keep it. Mm. Good stuff. Really good stuff. Mm. It's just the end of February and it's really hot out here. But uh, now that that's done, I got a few more other chores to do. And then uh, we'll go ahead and get started on that little uh, poor man's pepper concoction. All right. All right, I've got a bunch of ingredients here. Um, got some bread to try out some of the dipping sauce, like an oil or something. I got olive oil here. I've got uh, apple cider vinegar. Uh, some of the ingredients of particular mustard products, I can see that there's vinegar, salt, and all kinds of stuff. I've got salt here, and I got peppercorns, a little mortar pestle for grinding up the peppercorns. So I'm pretty excited about to go ahead and get started. You can see I that that small little harvest got me a bunch, bunch of this stuff here. So you know, it smells really good too. So I'm gonna start washing it, and then. Um, start chopping it up and separating things out and I'm going to try stuff with some of the roots I'm going to try some of the, the stems but mostly the leaves and the seeds there's a few seeds on all of these and I'm going to try a couple different methods maybe like a, like a hot oil and, and salt and some pepper or just cold oil salt and pepper um, I got this um, coconut flour as a, a thickener in case I want to do it that way like a kind of mimic a mustard a little bit Got a tomato here and make a little tiny salad. And uh, so I've got everything I need to do something. All right, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna do something. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started. So yeah, we wanna wash this out as good as we can. I got some of them have the roots on them, so Take that off. Set that aside. Some of this, some of this uh, bark is pretty tough. I wonder if I can make cordage out of it. Anyway, there's some roots. I'm gonna set those aside and uh, see if something good comes out of that. Let me 
leaves. I don't know if the stems are any good for anything. They might have some flavor in it. I've usually only ever eaten the leaves. So, let's see how it goes. That'd be an odd bug or two. Stuff softens up with the water really quickly. I never use pesticides in my yard. I don't really find it necessary. I just ask the bugs to leave. I'm polite about it. <laughs> they always want to find out what's inside a people house, you know? Start stripping the leaves in, uh, and uh, separating them out. Cool. One thing I want to try right away is if the stem is worth trying to salvage or not. I'm just going to take a bite out of it. Nah, it's got a lot of flavor, so I mean it might be it might be good for um, adding to like a soup or a stock or something. But from what I can tell, no, I can't even bite through it. So we're going to take the leaves off and we're going to go ahead and uh, just use those and chop them up. Since, like I said, I don't use pesticides or anything in my yard, I can just eat it straight up. I really probably, if you've seen me eat it before without ever washing it, I, I feel fine. But at the same time, you know, lots of sand, you know, dust. It's been kind of dry the last few days. So things like that are going to get on the plant. Don't want to eat too much of that. It smells amazing in here. It smells absolutely incredible. It's like a, like a, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a, a it's like a sweet mustardy smell. That's just filling the room. stuff doesn't go in there. You don't want to mix up stuff that uh, you can't be eating. You gotta pay attention. So that definitely that definitely wasn't what I was looking for. Let's see here if I can find it. I threw it back in here, this pot right here. There it goes. See I see? Yeah, I can tell what that is. This right here is a little bit of Virginia creeper. And we definitely don't want that in there. So we gotta make sure make sure that whatever you're whatever you're uh, harvesting, but you're not harvesting toxic lookalikes along with it. All right, we'll let that drain for a little bit. And we'll get some other stuff on the go that will go with the uh, concoction. But I just had a really, really cool idea. Um, I wanna save all this stems and extra leaves and stuff like that. I just so happen to have a fantastic juicer. So I'm gonna run that through the juicer as well and see, see what comes out. Well, no juice will, but what's really neat about the juicer though is like it takes out all the, all the fluid and, uh, and it makes this, um, sort of paste with the uh, remaining fiber and uh, when I used to make a bunch of carrot juice and things like that I would uh, I would uh, make pancakes and stuff out of that so but I'm not claiming to be like a fantastic cook or anything I'm just <laughs> just saying what what I used to do with it they actually didn't turn out very good <laughs> But it, it, it was definitely edible, but it wasn't great. All right, let's get started on the other parts. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna grind up a little bit of uh, black pepper here and get that ready to go. We don't need a whole lot.
Yeah, that's that's good enough. I just wanted to make sure that all the peppercorns are cracked. We've got uh, loads of salt here. We've got uh, apple cider vinegar and some olive oil. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably make like a, a, a little dressing, try to mimic um, uh, mustard a little bit. So what I want to do is set these aside, bring over the cutting board, and take some of our grains right there. Chop some of that up and see what it's like. Chop's nice. It's satisfying. I mean, I'm going to mince it down really, really. going to try a couple different oil methods. I'm going to go ahead and get the stove on and uh, heat up some of this oil so as soon as I uh, drop some of this in it'll fry it up real quick and then you shut off the heat. It's kind of like making uh, like chili oil. Chopped up well enough. Get this. Into, whoops. Sorry. Get this into a bowl here. Smells amazing. I'm telling you. All right. Let's get a little olive oil in it. This is going to be the first try of something. I don't. I don't know what to expect. Uh, in fact, maybe I'm going to take some of it out. I mean, I've got tons of it, so I shouldn't really worry about how much I'm using, but I'm going to take some of it out so that uh, if I don't like it, I'm not wasting it, and I I'll can start on the other, um, you know, idea that I have for it. So let's get a little oil in this. All right, set that aside. Some of this pepper. Not that we really need it. A little salt. Whisk it together here. Maybe a little more oil, right? Alright, that's good. I like lots of oil. This is just plain old uh, cold pressed olive oil. Alright. Doesn't look very appetizing. You know how green mushy things are. Let's get some of this bread. Let's see what it's like. Get in there. Break a piece off. Ugh, come on now. This is just some French bread with extra grains. So let's see what we got here. We got a little spatula here. And we'll try it on this bread piece here. But it's good. It's really good. I did use a little too much salt, but it is really, really yummy. Oh man. <laughs> That's really good, man. <laughs> I'm gonna 
is delicious. I love it. Oh man. I got loads of this. Look at all that. I got loads. I'm gonna make loads. Mm. I got some lettuce in the fridge. Um, I can chop that up. I can throw that all into a, a little salad. Throw a bunch of these leaves in it. Chop up some, a tomato. That would be really, really good. All right. Let's go ahead and get started on the second part of the concoction. All right. Set this aside. I'm gonna get lots of olive oil into the pan. I mean, lots of it. Now that that's on the go, I'm going to set some of this stuff aside. I gotta remember to use a lot less salt. We're gonna try a different, a different one now. Using the same bowl, I'm gonna add some more in. Oop. Some more oil. Less salt this time. Just a little bit. Just a dash. Just a dash. All right. A little bit of vinegar. Just a little bit. A little splash. And that would make a a nice salad dressing. See how that tastes. Basically the same thing as I did before, just with a little bit of vinegar this time. Get some of this green on there. Same, same as before, a little less salt. Uh, I don't think I threw any pepper in there. Hold on just a second. Uh -huh. A little dash of pepper in there. Love pepper, love pepper. Mix it up. I'm using the bread to mix it up. Let's try that. See how that tastes. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm not a huge vinegar guy, but that's nice. I think it was better before, is but it it is a nice salad dressing, you know. It will work. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I like the other one better. So the vinegar, eh, I didn't use too much either. It's very, it's very tolerable. Get ready with get ready for the hot oil. And it should be ready any minute. So I just got the idea to add a little bit of garlic to the hot oil. So I'll go ahead and set this up. check that oil. Not quite ready yet, but uh, in the meantime, I'll do a little bit of tidying up and introduce you to something really cool. Years ago, when I was actually making flutes, a uh, gentleman who was selling wheatgrass and also uh, the juicer that goes with it, traded one of my nicest flutes for this really cool juicer. And I believe at the time it was the top of the line. I haven't used it in a really long time, but I broke it out just to try try some of this in, into the juicer itself and see what we get. And um, see, it still works. 
So when it gets clogged up, you hit it in reverse, and you can, you can hit it in a run. And then if it gets clogged, you just pull it down reverse until the clog clears. So it's pretty cool. But it's not so noisy. It's not so noisy once you start getting uh, stuff into it. And, and uh, you can make peanut butter with this. I've made some of the best nut butters there is in this thing. Just never get around to it. Man. You put it in the shelf and you forget about it and a couple years go by and you're like, oh man, I got a juicer, man. I need to start using that thing. Anyway, we'll play with this in a little while. Let's check that oil. That oil is ready to go. First we'll add our garlic. Then we'll add our pepper. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that smells good. A little bit of salt. Ooh, not too much. Hold on. There we go. And our black pepper. Lots of that. Turn the heat way down. We'll just let that simmer. Awesome. Oh man, that smells good. Mmm, now that the oil is done, let's try this. Of course, we'll get a little bit of bread. It's good, but I think cooking the, the greens kind of took the flavor of the greens away. Let me give it another go. because this is a larger batch no vinegar this time that was, I didn't really like that one that much but loads and loads and loads of oil right there all right and I think this would be good on let's say pasta or something you know like you mix up a big old batch of um, uh, spaghetti noodles and you make a you sprinkle this on top and, you know not too generous and a little bit of parmesan it'd be fantastic fantastic some of this original one here. Mm. Come on now. Mm. 
Yeah. Now, the original one's way to go. Basically, all it is is a bunch of them greens chopped up real fine. As much olive oil as you want. You know, like a teaspoon, not even a teaspoon, um, you know, just a pinch of salt. You don't need that much. As much black pepper as you want. Man, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. It's great for dipping. It's not everybody's cup of tea, though, man. I can, I can tell you that straight out of the gate. I mean, some people are going to look at it like, ew. It chops up just like parsley. It doesn't taste the same as parsley. It looks like parsley, though. Um, but um, that's this is so simple, and the flavors are so... Are so uh, I don't even know how to describe it. They're, they're, the flavors that are jumping out of here are just incredible. It's a lot of flavor. And um, you can pretty much put it on anything. Now, obviously, I just have a little bit of bread to dip it in. You can use it as a garnish. You can use it you know, over top of pasta with some Parmesan or whatever. In fact, I might do that later. But um, this, this stuff is fantastic. And it's super simple to make. You saw me make it. And it's the easiest thing ever. Hardest part is cleaning it. You know, cleaning it, rin rinsing it off, and then chopping it up. That was the hardest part. Mm. But the next thing we want to do now is go ahead and try out this juicer. All right. Set that aside for later. All right. Let's clean up. And we'll break out the old juicer. And here we are. Pretty big old juicer. Like I said before, this was supposed to be top of the line back when it came out. At least that's what the salesman told me. But uh, but I tell you what, this thing has produced quite a bit of really yummy uh, juices and peanut butters and things like that. I said that earlier. So let's go ahead and get started. There's still a lot of green left on all these stems, but uh, most of it is stem. So I'm gonna feed them in slowly and see how it goes. All right, here we go. Not until it actually starts to fill up, they start getting some juice and stuff out of there. There you go. I'm not getting a whole lot of juice out of it. Let's see what we can do. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. I remember when I was using it for like wheatgrass and things like that, it usually came out in like a foam. putting off fumes that make my eyes water, kind of like onions. It's a little fun if you ask me. It's like, oh, okay, these guys, all right. Yeah, I'd say I got a few ounces of juice out of it. It's like uh, fumes are just coming up. Yeah, that's good enough. What do you think? Alright. This thing's probably knackered. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. There. Holy mush. <laughs> Put 
this thing through its paces. So yeah, you can gather quite a bit of this in a very short amount of time. Um, however, if you want to feed a lot of people, I would recommend getting a lot more than what you think you're going to need because it shrinks down quite a bit in the pot. So, but yeah, I'm going to try some of this juice. It's going to, it's probably going to, it's probably going to knock me off, knock me off my feet. Because this stuff is really strong. I've always said that. It's really, really spicy, you know? So, i got to get this thing cleaned up quickly so it doesn't dry up in the stream. All right. Fantastic. I'm really happy this thing works after all these years. Great piece of equipment. All right, let's see here. We got this. Ooh, that's quite a heavy. Here we go. Mmm. There's a clear glass. All right, we'll just use this glass here. All right. Come on now. I'm making a mess. Just flying all over the place. Come on now. This stuff isn't quite done draining. There we go. Let's go ahead and pour a little bit of this out. It's probably a little more than I need. <laughs> oh, that makes my eyes water. All right. It actually tastes really sweet, but spicy. Ooh, spicy. All right. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, it's really hot. It's like wasabi. Let's do it again. <laughs> Glutton for punishment, right? Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, there you go. There's a bunch of bunch of uses for poor man's pepper. Oh man, that is really hot. I'm gonna have heartburn. But uh, I'm sure it's not bad for me. I don't know if it. You know, I haven't never heard of any, you know, adverse effects to this sort of thing. It is just a mustard green. Oh, that is, that is blazing hot. My eyes are watering. But, uh, I, I, I'll do a little, another mouthful here. Oh, that's actually really good. Oh, that's a fantastic flavor, but it is too hot to drink. <laughs> but like I said, that's the many, many uses of poor man's pepper today. Man, it was a lot of fun. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, feel free to gather some of that stuff up in your yard. I would re highly recommend making that little dip. That's really good. You could probably pour it over top of pasta, throw some Parmesan in there, and throw anything you want in it, really. Uh, just remember, it's going to be a little mustardy. It's going to be like a like a radish or something. So it doesn't taste anything like parsley, but it, it is really, really good. Whew. I'm on fire on the inside. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And like always, take care. <laughs>